Hi and welcome to Pumpkin's Nail Station. Today I'm going to show you um, some of the colours from the Born Pretty Stores dip powder system. Let me just bring this up, focus you in. Here we go. So we've got these three here. So this one is the Angel Dream, which is the white. This one is Sorrow Time, which is the clear, which I'll use on the top. And this one is Autumn Light, which is like a natural um, color. So you do have to sort of roll these up because you see some of the darker pigment. So if you roll it before you use it, it does um, mix any of the colour in there so just do it for all of them before we use it and it will sort of fluff it up a bit make it easier to work with they come in a 10 mil 3 0.34 fluid ounce packages so let me just compare that for you this is a standard buffing block that say it's a little it's just a little bit bigger than my pointer finger so it's to about there so that is the comparison on how big they are so let's put a few of these so three of these is probably about the same size as one of those so you split that into three and that's that's the comparison size so we've got the powders there there is um another one another to this like a brush cleaner um that i've ordered and paid for myself but it's not arrived yet so I'll do I'll do a separate on that just to tell you how it works. So you've got your base, your activate, and we've got our top. So we've got that. And I've got this little dish which I brought from eBay, um, which is a French um, dipping tray. So if I had a long nail, I would dip my finger like that, and it would give me like a smile line. Or I think you can dip it in like that if you wanted a different i don't actually understand it but i think i just use this way this way and dip it dip it sort of like that so i think that was only about a pound um and it came in a box like this i mean i'll have a look to see if born pretty store do you want but i ordered this from ebay i'm going to be working on my flexi finger I'll move everything out of the way I'm sure you've seen her before um, but for those that haven't she moves like that and she does move up and down um, and you can twist her upside down as well um, if you want <laughs> so I'm going to be working on this today um, rather than my own nails and we're going to be attempting to do a French a French nail I'm going to put a picture up on the screen of one that I did recently when i was just practicing and playing with it when i wasn't very well so it just gave me something to do so we're going to have a go with that we're going to try the french nail on this um we're going to try and use this i haven't used this yet i just did the, the last french that i did i just sort of dipped it into the container but with this one we're going to try and do it sort of like that to try and get a bit more of a smile line and we're also going to need a cuticle pusher as well so you're going to need one of these to spoon the colour once we dip the white we're going to spoon the colour over the rest so we don't taint the bottom colour so I'm just going to set everything up how I want it so let me find the white one angel dream so I'm just going to put the white powder into this part here so I'm just going to tip it all in or the majority of it <laughs> probably going to have to take some of this out yeah I'll have to take some of that out so I'm just going to take that out off camera and then I'll come back right so we're back so I did make a bit of a mess of that and I just didn't want the video to be rolling on and you not really see anything so I filled it up to about there so we've got a decent amount up at this end and in there where we need it so 
So I might just tip it a little bit more like that. Just try and spread a bit more of that up there. And then sort of flatten it. To level it out, just give it a little tap like that. And a bit like that. And that's how we've got it. So I probably left about that much in there. So that is going to be for the white. And then we're going to need the um, pink just to stay in there. And then I have one of these little light trays to pop that into, like that. So if it spills, it'll go into there and we'll be able to pop it back into there. So we're going to have to take the lid off this. We've already shaken it up. We've got our white in here. And then for the first stage, we're going to need the base coat. So let me just move everything out of the way, what we're not going to be using. So we'll pop that there, pop that there for a second. I've got a little lint free wipe to wipe my brush um, in between to remove any of the different colours so I'm not tainting them. So the first colour we're going to use is the white and we're going to be dabbing it in from this end here. Thing where I want it. So now we're going to pop the base coat onto here. So it's labelled as number one, so that's what we'll use. If you've seen many, many dip powder things, it's not going to be any different. The application is not going to be any different. I've just roughed up the edges a bit because it's a false nail, so it would be as if it was prepped and primed. So we're just going to pop the base coat as close as we can get it okay, right, so we've got that so the first stage we're going to do is we're going to dip it into here I've never used this before so I'm a bit nervous right, so here we are we're all set up to restart this because I fluffed up, I thought I was filming, so that is the target, that's what we're aiming for. So I've already explained what we've got, so we're going to be using number one, which is the base layer. We're going to be dipping it into the white first. So you pull this nice and flat till all the way to the end. Run it nice and flat. We're going to be using the white dish first. So we just make sure we can see what we're doing. So we're going to shove this in and go for a nice smile line and then tap off. Yep, that's what we're going with now because that's where we're at. We probably could have done with going a little bit higher, but it's what we've got now, so that's what we're working with. Oops, we need to be working a bit faster. Um, and then we move straight over to the pink, but don't dawdle like I just have. Okay, right, so we've done that. So now we're going to move on to the next layer of base. So nice and flat. Okay, right. So we've got that. Let me just get out of the way. So now we're going to move into here. Okay, so we've got that. And then we're going to come over to here. The reason we're not dipping into this part is because we don't want to taint the white powder. This is um, our watch 
watched, I think it was a Kira Sky video. I'll link it in the description box because actually she does a much better job than me. So if, if you're more familiar with products like this, then you may get a better result. So there we go. So we've done the second layer of that. So now I'm just going to let that settle for a minute or so. And then we're going to go for a top layer, a third layer of clear powder to seal it in. So at this stage we're going to clean off this brush, this dispenser thing just with a little brush. We don't need the white anymore so we're going to pop the lid onto that because you can keep your white powder in there now. We don't need this pink anymore so we can pop our lid on that, move it out of the way and we can exchange it for the clear. They are going to now go into that part. So now it's been settling a little bit, we can get our brush and just dust about to make sure we've got rid of any excess dust. We're going to get our base coat again. And we're going to go on the top. You could go for another layer of the colours if you want to, but I think this is more than enough for what I'm doing. So you do that nice and quick. So now we're going to move this out of the way because we're not going to be using the clear anymore. Pop that over there. We're just going to let that settle for a minute and then we're going to put some of the activate on it. The activate sort of hardens the <coughs> dip powder up a bit. So if you want to buff it, if it feels a bit uneven or anything like that, then that's what you can do at this stage. So we're going to pop activator on. So like depending on how many layers you put on will depend on how quickly the activator dries. So I like to put a good amount of it on. <coughs> so we'll just see how quickly this dries. So I'm probably just going to do it like that. Or I might just have a sip of my coffee. <laughs> and let's have a feel. It's not quite there yet. I'm going to do this in real time so we can see how quickly it dries. I am by no means an expert at this, I'm just going to clean up the dust that's on the thing, move some of it off my workspace, it's just gone all over me, <laughs> never mind, so let's have a feel now, yep, so that feels a lot drier, so I'm just going to get a fine buffer, one of the finer ones that I have, which is this one, and I'm just going to give it a little buffing over just to like take away like any lumps and bumps or anything like that these flexi fingers by the way they're awesome to work on like you can really practice what you want to do you know, like nail wise. So, I've got a little bit there, you see. So, this, just to make that sit in there easier, I'm just going to take it out and file that down. Obviously, if it was your natural nail, you wouldn't be able to just pop the finger off. Um, you'd have to file it down in some way but this was quite in there so for aesthetic reasons I'm just going to dust that out so that looks all right so far then at this stage we can give it a little wipe down with a lint free pad I won't use my expensive ones for this so 
just get a lymphy wipe just got one of these and you can just get some alcohol just to clean it all off any strength alcohol is fine this one's 90% or 91% so I'm just going to clean up around the finger as well Um, Kira Sky um, says to do another layer of activate at this stage so I'm going to do that just because um, that's how she did it just to make sure it's extra sealed she says so that's what she did so that's what I'm doing um, just going to let that dry then. Let's see what time we are on. Yeah, we've got plenty of time. That's fine, but what I haven't done is just smoothed off these edges. Smoothing that off. So there we go. And then we're going to put the number three now, which is the top coat. So as you can see, it's not too difficult, but it's one of those practice things. But I would recommend one of these fingers definitely for doing this practicing i'll put the link to their website in the description box i don't think they're too expensive i think with shipping and everything like that it's probably about 40 maybe 50 dollars i'm not sure i'll put it in the description box but i think there's like a converter in there on the website so you can convert it to like your currency sorry just having another drink there see if that is dry and yep yeah, that is nice and dry I probably wouldn't mess about with it too much I'd probably let it dry a little bit more but yeah overall I think it's come out quite nice and let's have a look so yeah I think overall it's quite nice it's not too bulky I don't think it is anyway I think it's turned out quite smooth so yeah, what do you guys think? And this was the other one what I just did what I know I wasn't when I thought I was filming but I wasn't. So yeah, it's not it's not that bad. That's what that would sort of look like if it was on your nail. It would give it a bit more colour on the nail, you see, than it looking like that. But yeah, overall I think I'm happy with it. So that's everything. I'll put every, all the links in the description box. I do have a 10% code, so I'll put that at the bottom of the screen now. So yeah, so that's everything then. So thanks for watching. Bye.